Hello everyone and welcome to Local Lens. My name is Edward McCarver and today we're going to spend a couple of minutes talking with members of the Wallingford Community Theatre. The Wallingford Community Theatre is presenting Noises Off on December 7th and 8th at 8 o'clock p.m. That's a Friday and Saturday night and December 9th at 2 o'clock p.m. That's a special Sunday matinee at the Robert Parisi Auditorium, which is located at uh, Town Hall here in Wallingford. And uh, we brought back uh, actually someone who probably needs no introduction, who's been here at several of our shows, uh, Mary Ellen Kingsland Eccles. Uh, Mary Ellen, Hello, we've met Ed. before, yes, haven't yes, we? It's good, it's good to see you again. Back. We also have a couple of uh, actors in the play, uh, Jason Michael, and Trang Nguyen have joined us. And for the next, uh, oh, 28 minutes or so, we'll be talking about uh, Noises Off. So, Marianne, let me start with you. First, welcome. Thank you for taking for time us. out of your busy rehearsal schedule <laughs> yes. to, uh, to get here. Yes. Now, normally, the Repertory Theater presents its play in early spring. But this year, the production is being held in early December. Any reason for the change? There are a couple of reasons. We had been thinking about what would be the best time in terms of things going on in, in the town and the weather, <laughs> trying to avoid snowstorms, which we all drove through here today to get. Yeah. Um, but probably w the thing that really kicked off our starting the change was we're going to be um, sponsoring the uh, three Wallingford 350 productions. And by necessity, repertory would need to present in the fall and then the big 350 play in the spring. So we knew we had to make the switch at some point. So we thought, as we talked about it, we've decided that, you know, during Celebrate Wallingford, um, that'd be a great time to promote us, let people get to know what's going on, what's coming next, and uh, it's right here downtown. Yeah, how did that work? Uh, this is, I think, this is the second year you Our had a booth second year. Celebrate. Yeah. How did that work out? Oh, well, first of all, we're incredibly grateful um, that, to the town of Wallingford, the mayor, the town council for allowing us to be in there. It's a beautiful, beautiful auditorium. It's the old Robert Early Auditorium, mm -hmm. which I think is one of the best in the state. And um, it was before that, it was the original Lyman Hall High School before the one that we know of was built. Yeah. Now, the play is, is a British comedy, uh, Noises Off, and uh, the emphasis, I guess, is on comedy, but uh, British humor. Um, what is the difference between British humor and American humor? Well, you'll get a different answer um, from anyone you ask, but um, it's, this is a British farce. I think um, the British do a magnificent job of that. Um, the best analogy, I guess, or, or, or comparison I could make. This was written in the 1970s. It's, the play is set in the 50s, but it was written during the 1970s, and it very much has a um, Monty Python, Faulty Towers okay. feel to it, and it's definitely a farce. So it's, it's madcap comedy at its best. Now, the dates of the play are Friday, December 7th, Saturday, December 8th, and a matinee on Sunday, December 9th. Now, a matinee is something I don't think has been done before by the theater. No, so what, uh, no, this is our this? first time. Uh, we've had a lot of requests for it um, from uh, audiences and you know folks who don't want to have to drive at night, um, or who would you know their schedules are such that they would prefer to have a chance if say they work at night and they never get to see a show. They now they can, um, and also for the folks who again, as I said, don't don't want to drive at night. Um, we, a lot of the seniors in town have asked for it, and um, what I wanted to avoid um, from my days of acting, I remember um, having a matinee at 2 and then a performance at 8 over and over again is really, really draining, and I kind of wanted to avoid that, um, if at all possible, for my actors. But uh, we're not following it up with a, an evening performance, so it's just the matinee, and that's our, that's our closing performance. Okay, very good. Very good. We're talking with Mary Ellen Kingsland Eccles and members of the Wallingford Community Theater. We're talking about the Repertory Theater's play Noises Off uh, to be held December 7th and 8th. That's a Friday and Saturday night. And uh, December 9th uh, at 2 p.m., December 7th and 8th is at 8 o'clock p.m. at uh, Robert Parisi Auditorium. 
Tickets can be purchased from Gallagher Travel Shop, Amici Salon, Connie's Kitchen, and online at Wallingford Community Theater dot brownpapertickets.com. It is $25 general admission and $20 for seniors. And tickets were just made available at the time of this taping, which is about a week before Thanksgiving. It's, uh... um, tickets have been available online and have been selling early. The matinee is a big hit. Really? Yeah, oh, cool. yeah. Um, they've been selling online, and we just today are getting the tickets out to the, the venues. Um, so, yep, they're available now. Very good. We have two of the actors here, uh, Jason Michael and Trang Wen. And I wanted to ask, and Jason, if I may, because you're the veteran performer. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy, <laughs> climbing the ranks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, just in your own words, how did you get involved with the, with the theater? Uh, well, I was in one play in eighth grade and took my hiatus for 30 <laughs> years or so. And uh, my daughter was in, in a production in... in uh, eighth grade as well and the productions wind down in May and the school year ends so you're leaving junior high going to high school and she was upset understandably so over the summer I, I said why don't you you know go audition for the Wallingford Community Theater there's a bunch of kids your age and then she was nervous so I said I'll I'll go down with you if you know if that's what it takes I'll, I'll audition with you and figured I'd end up with Dave Stein the set designer helping him swing hammers and paintbrushes and lo and behold I was cast in the first show and was uh, hooked since. And Trang, what, what made you decide to, uh, how did you get involved in theater? It's actually a very similar story. Um, <laughs> I was Swinging a hammer with Dave Stein? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> got my tool belt. Um, <laughs> I actually was in a play um, in sixth or seventh grade, and that was the last time I was in a play. But my son, Tyler, who's nine, was in um, some plays um, in his elementary school. And he really loves the theater, so I thought, what better way to bond um, than to also, um, you know, participate in the Wallingford Community Theater. So I was uh, lucky enough to see auditions on Facebook and um, came down last year and auditioned, and, uh, and that's how I started. And then I uh, had a couple of lines last year, and then this year I have... Um, a lot more. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A little terrified and scared, but uh, <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, I'm very excited for the opportunity. Now, you've both have been involved with, with past productions of Wallingford Community Theater. What made you decide to climb into the ring one more time to do another production, any, if any reason? Okay. Um, well, my experience last year was just so amazing. Everyone is so friendly and nice, and you really learn a lot as well, um, you know, in acting. So it was an amazing experience that I could also take to my my job, um, where mm -hmm. I have to do some public speaking, and um, I'm I think many people are nervous about public speaking, and so am I. And um, it's definitely helped me to get better at public speaking. So even just for my my job, it's it's been very helpful. I've learned so much about. Uh, projecting and blocking and all these things that can translate to everyday, you know, um, my everyday life, um, but particularly my job. But um, everyone is so amazing and fun, and it's such a great time, and it's a creative mm -hmm. outlet. I really enjoy it. Very good. We're talking with members of the Wallingford Community Theater. The theater is presenting Noises Off uh, December 7th and 8th. That's a Friday and Saturday night at 8 o'clock p.m., and December 9th, 2 o'clock p.m. at the Robert Parisi Auditorium. Uh, that is the auditorium at Town Hall. Uh, tickets can be purchased from Gallagher Travel, Amici Salon, Connie's Kitchen, and online at wallingfordcommunitytheater.brownpapertickets.com. $25 general admission, $20 for seniors. This is the second production that's actually being held at the Robert Parisi uh, auditorium inside Town Hall. What, what are the advantages to, to having a play there? I think the seating, we were very grateful. We were able to begin the repertory because of the generosity of Joe Gouvea at the Library Wine Bar and Bistro. And in the back room, we knew that as the children's theater and um, the children's library when we were kids growing up. But um, Dave Stein and his, his gang would literally build a stage down there. And the seating was great, and intermission was 
was very enjoyed because um, they would have a wine bar at the, <laughs> the intermission. <laughs> we can't have that at the town hall, but <laughs> that was wonderful. But the seating was all the same level. And um, it, was, it was difficult, I think, to see sometimes. Um, so um, when we were given uh, the, uh, actually, Jay, Jay found, you know, we were looking for a, another venue where, where perhaps it was a little more, we could have more people, because I think the maximum at, at the library was um, 80 to 90, and we can have a, a couple, you know, a few hundred. I'm not sure what the number count is I think is it's there. close to that. Yeah. yeah. And I think with the balcony. And too. with the balcony. <coughs> the balcony's not in use yet. I mean, we use it for tech, but it's not um, up to code yet for um, audience to be able to sit there. But someday. Um. Who decides what play is to be formed? Last year you had the Steve Martin play, uh, Picasso with the Lapina G. Uh, this year it's uh, Noises Off. I is that a decision that, that lies in your hands, or, or do you? I think talk the to final, about the it? final decision, because I'm the one who has to um, contact the company, get the rights, um, and pay for it. Um, but it's certainly a team decision. Um, it's not just. It's never just, you know, what would I like to do? It's never, ever that. It's, you know, the repertory is, is a, it's a company. It's an ensemble. And it, in a true repertory, as, as we're endeavoring to create, um, it's usually, it's not exclusive, but it's usually the same group of actors taking different roles, including stage management, um, you know, properties, costumes. They're not always an actor in it, but you're your own group um, taking care of everything and we always welcome um, new folks if you know every year when we have auditions but it's it's generally it's generally a company like that so I need to when I you know I have ideas I always reach out to everybody in the repertory and say let me know what your ideas are for this year I like to keep it a comedy I like to keep it light um, I think. Yeah, why is that? Because you did do a drama the first year. Well, we did. We did. We did. We sure did. We did <laughs> Eugene O'Neill's The Straw. And we chose that. We thought it was fitting because Eugene O'Neill wrote that about his experience at Gaylord Hospital when he had tuberculosis. Oh. So it was about Wallingford. And we, we thought at the time that would be a really cool way to begin. Um, and from that point on, though, we've always done comedies. And I think. You know, I think the economy at the time, we started in 2008. Um, it's amazing um, how we've been um, able to survive the years um, when other creative endeavors have not um, during such tough economic times. But I think because um, we're, we're a family, we're a team, we work together, um, we're really good stewards of our money. Um, we want everyone to be a part of it so that um, the ability to, to pay um, never, ever comes into it. Um, this is here for Wallingford, and everyone is welcome. So given that, you don't make a decision in a vacuum. You've got to talk to Dave Stein about, we talked about this one. This is an incredibly difficult um, set. I mean, it's got to reverse itself for Act Two, yeah. and then go back to the original with some modifications for Act Three. And um, if Dave didn't think, you know, I, I had a couple that I had already secured the rights for, and um, sent it out to everyone. Everybody said, "Oh, let's do this." Um, and it really came. This one came down to Dave because he had such a difficult job of designing and creating not just a set, but a set that would fit into the town council chambers over the counselor's desk, yeah. Yeah. which, you know, that cost us a lot extra because I think we probably spent at least a thousand dollars more in lumber oh, yeah. just to build, because this, this set is two floors with stairs and, mm. and railings and, and, you know, working doors. I, I don't, how many doors? Eight. Eight, eight, eight working doors, doors uh, mm -hmm. you know, so on, on two, two floors, mm -hmm. and constantly actors are in and out. So you have to have stairs in the front that look like a living room, and then you have to have stairs in the back for the actors to get down, you know, to the back. Yeah. And it was tricky. <laughs> We're talking with uh, Mary Ellen Kingsland Eccles and <coughs> actors from the Wallingford Community Theater. 
The theater is presenting Noises Off, a British comedy, on December 7th and 8th at 8 o'clock p.m. That's a Friday and Saturday night. And December 9th at 2 o'clock p.m. at the Robert Parisi Auditorium, uh, the auditorium at Town Hall in Wallingford. Tickets can be purchased from Gallagher Travel Shop, Amici Salon, Connie's Kitchen, and online at wanfordcommunitytheater.brownpapertickets.com. Tickets are $25 general admission and $20 for seniors. I wanted to ask the actors, and, and Trang, you, you touched on this a little bit uh, a few moments ago. Um, memorizing lines. You said you didn't have that many lines to memorize in your initial play. But now you have more, and, and Jason, I'll I'll ask you too. Um, what's the secret to memorizing lines? Whoever wants to take it first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think everybody has their own their own method of doing it. Um, I I plow through and read and read and read and read and read and read, and try to then you try to remember then you try to remember the pickup line that leads to your line because if your pickup line is the line. Preceding yours? That would, right, that would cue you to say your line. Right. And in this show in particular is really difficult because there's, what is there, eight, eight people in the show, right? Eight people. Mm. And we're all interacting all the time. So you don't share a page or two of dialogue with one person where you can just put all that to memory. This one is, anyone could be delivering your pickup line from anywhere on two floors and 40 feet wide. It's, a, yeah. it's been a real challenge for this one, but mine is re repetition. Just reading it and reading. I, I don't. I'm surprised I don't have that little yellow book in my back pocket right now because it's with me all, all, all the time, time. Yeah. Yeah. all the time. Yeah. And Trang, is, is do you have a secret to? Uh... Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> uh, but um, similar, just reading the play over and over again, trying to make sure I understand what's going on, not just with my part but with everyone else's part, mm -hmm. um, and that repetition. Um, just lines faster and faster so I can make sure that when I'm um, rehearsing that I actually it comes out because when I'm studying it it's, I seem to remember it but right. then all of a sudden when we're rehearsing <laughs> for some right. reason yep. I, it, there's a block so I think just making sure it just comes out effortlessly where you just know it whatever she's doing yeah. she's doing it right because she's yeah. the first one to put her book away so far yeah. we've all noticed yeah. that yeah. And, and as soon as you get that to put that down then you can really start to and to, they've just the started getting stuff. out a book. Um, it's, it's a tremendous amount of dialogue. It's a tremendous, like, act two, I don't want to give anything away, but act two, there's so much acting in addition to the dialogue. I don't want to give anything yeah. away. So the, the, the term is off book when you no longer have to rely on reading something when you right. memorize. And after you go over that hurdle, it makes the acting easier? Especially in this show, because there's without giving too much away, yeah. there's a million props and people are oh, literally juggling things and, yeah. and exchanging I mean, literally things. Juggling yeah, things. Exchanging <laughs> things in the air and there's there's an axe. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. So it's been so not having that in your hand just logistically is such an advantage because you can start to do what you should be doing. And while timing is important to comedy, the timing in this play is Crucial. Oh my God. I mean, timing is everything in this in this play. And and that actually kind of segues into the next question I had for you. Um, you have mentioned in the past that you want to make sure the performers peak at the right time before right. opening night. Much much like a coach right. would want right. to get his team to peak right right before yeah. a game. Can you talk about what's well, it's, involved it's in similar, that? It's similar. You use the coach analogy. It's very similar to overtraining. You can overtrain your 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 athletes. So that um, when the race comes, um, they're not, they're, they're already tired, you know, or they've kind of, they're kind of past it. Um, I don't, that's not a problem with this, <laughs> this play because it's so huge and it's so difficult. Um, you know, I all, but I do always watch for that. I, 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 I think with this play, rather than worrying about peaking too soon, I, I watch the actors to make sure you know they're healthy and they're rested and and they're they're having fun that's really important if you're not having fun why are you doing this is that how you can tell if if they've over peaked if if they've gotten stale um sometimes sometimes but in this one it's more because this is um like you you've called it like 
you said to yourself it's like training for a marathon because you're in this. You're doing a magnificent job. I and, am. And, yes, I you am. are. <laughs> they all are. They're, I can't wait for Wallingford to see this. They, they won't believe it. It's so fabulous. Um, we actually had somebody who had seen it in, on Broadway um, pop in to say hello, and, and he said, oh, my God, this is incredible. You guys are great. One of the things, I mean, we, you come up with things that make it work. Like, Jason had this brilliant idea. I think, I, I, it's funny, it's snowing outside right now, our first snowfall. And when Jason did this, I think it was still swimming weather. When we started, <laughs> rehe we started rehearsal in September. It was pretty hot in September. And Jay came up with, well, tell him how you came up with the door thing, because that was critical. Oh, well, because there's eight doors yeah. in, in the show, um, the blocking is so particular and precise that the comedy is that somebody leaves the room or the, the upstairs and someone comes in the downstairs, but they don't know each other are there, and there's three or four people doing that at once sometimes. And so in order to be able to get that right before we can get into the town hall, which we have a short time before the show's to be, I just figured it'd be best if we could have something that represented doors, so we built them out of... PVC pipe in these three by six and a half rectangles, and we set them up every night and we break uh -huh. them down every he night. He says we, it was he. <laughs> <laughs> and I just figured it would be brilliant. It would make sense to be able to actually go through these areas, and now we've hung bells on them to represent the door opening and the door closing yeah. as you go through. It, it's, it's a lot like a Pavlov's experiment. It really you, is. you hear a bell now, and it's like, I gotta go. <laughs> and you're ready to leave. It's but true, it's so funny. It's, it's been handy. We're talking with members of uh, Wallingford Community Theater. We're talking about the, uh, the play coming up uh, on December 7th and 8th, Noises Off, December 7th and 8th. That's a Friday and Saturday night at 8 o'clock p.m. December 9th, a matinee at 2 o'clock p.m. That's a Sunday afternoon at the Robert Parisi Auditorium, which is uh, located at, uh, at Town Hall. Again, tickets can be purchased from Gallagher Travel Shop, Amici Salon, Connie's Kitchen and online at wallingfordcommunitytheater.brownpaperdickets.com. $25 general admission and $20 for seniors. So Maureen can get in cheaply here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I am not sure how much time we have left here, but uh, I did want to ask the, uh, the actors, um, and maybe more for Jason because you've been in more productions, you've been on the acting side of it, um, do you ever have the, um, the urge to maybe sit in Mary Ellen's chair one time and maybe direct a play? Or? Um, it's funny because I had, the, I had this conversation with my wife a, a few days ago because she's given us such a wide berth to give suggestions and change things that may be more comfortable for us or sometimes we just, it just can't be done the way it's written because of our spatial uh, constraints. Mm -hmm. So. Being able to come up with ideas and have them work, and I mean, some are some are taken, some are not, because some are good and some are bad, or some won't work, or isn't quite the direction she wants to go in. But being able to come up with something and have it be successful, it's a pretty it's a pretty cool feeling to steer the car for a while. So who knows? I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't be something I'd say no to right off the bat. That's for sure. And Trang, I, I know you've only yeah. been in a couple. I like to uh, take direction, and uh, I do not want that responsibility whatsoever. <laughs> the creative part of that is is really fun, um, but there, it's a real balancing, you know, because you have to deal with different, you, the the people piece of it as well, and and you have to balance, you know, the different. Um, levels that everybody's working at you have to work with you know who's coming in and had a tough day at work today or you know who needs what and you're constantly looking at it there's a there's a lot to it but i think you'd make a great director <laughs> <laughs> we should mention it is <coughs> wallingford community theater but it is open to anyone you don't have to be necessarily a wallingford resident to, to be a member of, of the theater that's correct okay. um what if someone was not interested in performing but wanted to do some behind the scenes work. Um, lots of lots of op opportunities, yeah. Now one of my go-to questions that I always have here, opening night for Mary Ellen Eccles. Walk us through that. Oh gee, well you're, you wanna make sure everything, nothing has changed in terms of everything, the set, the tech, the, the actors. You want to make sure everything is the way it should be. You, and then you have to work with, make sure the front of house is all set with, with tickets and concessions and, you know, everything else that's going on. So you, 
it's a it's a lot. It's a huge checklist. Um, but I really we've been so blessed. We have magnificent people volunteering and working in every single aspect. Um, for the repertory, it's 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 more in house with with the rep. But in the like in the summer, my gosh, we had like two hundred volunteers plus. Um, Mary Poppins, right? Mary Over Poppins, summer, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, all right. Now, um, w one last question I have uh, for the actors, and you both have come back to Wanafee Community Theater. Somebody sees this show, somebody goes to the play and says, I, you know, I'd like to do what they do. What advice would you give them? To it. No question about it. Especially here. Uh, Trang touched on it before. The people involved in this are, they're just spectacular. Everyone I've met, I mean, I, I've said it before that, you know, you get in your 40s or whenever it happens to you and you're, you have kids and you get involved in your career and your friends slowly fall to the periphery and um, this just was a huge addition to the stable of people I consider dear. And every year now there's a new person and, and another person and just, everyone just seems to feed off of the kindness that goes around. So that would be the lure I would throw to somebody considering. And Drang, if someone... I would say, especially being new, I would definitely um, say if, if you have an interest, definitely do it. Um, one of the other reasons why I love this, too, is that it brings, especially for some people um, who maybe have a job that's a little more technical, maybe they're sitting at a desk and it's not very creative, coming here at night, because it, it's, it's a huge time commitment and an obligation. And so you have to love it, and, but it also gives you that creative outlet that maybe some people don't get from their 9 to 5 job. And um, that's definitely one of the biggest things for me. It's, it's just such a great learning experience. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, so if, if there's someone who has an interest, mm -hmm. definitely. It's an, it's an awesome exercise in humility to, let, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to, to really let your guard down and, and let people laugh at you or yell at you or correct you or compliment you. And, and take it all in night after night after night and watch everybody slowly turn and grow into the people they're yeah. studying. It's yeah. awesome. It is awesome. I wanted to ask uh, you, Mary Ellen, is it too early? To I know we're in, almost in the throes of winter now, but yeah. is it too early to talk about the summer? No, I just, it, I just, uh, we're. Any press leaks you could give us? Yes, here, absolutely. <laughs> we, uh, we've been in conversation with um, the. Uh, playwright and composer who did our Peter Pan and we're in London and we're um, he just sent me a, a letter and a photographed uh, libretto today we're um, looking to do his Alice through the looking glass um, which is a musical and it's fabulous we are always looking for something that's family friendly and that has parts for lots and lots of kids and now lots of adults so I think this this might be it and the following fall in repertory, we're um, licensed and ready to go with our town for the town of Wallingford's 350. Uh, that's a kickoff. Yeah, I wanted to mention uh, Wallingford has a huge birthday party. Yes, coming we do. Up, uh, yeah, in, we do. In 2020. And yep. uh, any additional plans for that? Yeah, at we're, this time? Yeah, we're creating uh, the people who like to be in costume. Um, we're doing uh, kind of a Sturbridge Village thing where. Um, we will have like um, all the historic sites in town will be peopled by community members in costume who will be become people of that era so that the visitors coming through can talk to them and they can have conversations about life with, like back then and what they're doing. Excellent. Let me plug it one more time here. Now we have our time back. Yeah. We're, we're in the home stretch. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, Longview Community Theater presenting Noises Off December 7th and 8th. That's a Friday and Saturday night at 8 o'clock p.m. A matinee December 9th at 2 o'clock p.m. at the Robert Parisi Auditorium. Tickets can be purchased from Gallagher Travel, Amici Salon, Connie's Kitchen, and online at Longview Community Theater. Brownpapertickets.com. I have just enough time to say uh, good luck to you all. Break a leg, is that what Break they say? Break a leg to your head. So, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, thank you for stopping up. Oh, thanks and, for having um, us. Yeah. And have a good this show. This is always fun. So, all right, this has been Edward McCarver for Local Lens. We'll see you soon.